वो हम मैंने ये सब किया बस मैंने पोस्ट कर दिया ना हाँ अपना एक नोट वो क्या है क्या है बस बारा बारा इतनी खुशी से अभी दो घंटे का इनाम भी डालते हैं तो आज तो आना ही पड़ेगा फिर दो घंटे का इनाम भी डालते हैं दीवार पर ना तो ना आ क्या बात मंडे बच्चों मंडे बच्चों को ये
Huh? Homework also. Huh? I remember. What are the two questions I gave you as homework? Huh? How many of you completed the homework? I did complete it. So, all of you, did you all complete the homework? Yes or no? Yes, Done? You don't have the book yet? Half of the year over? How come you don't have the book? I have the school book. I have the volume one. Ah, so I gave you the questions from the textbook or from the volume? Textbook. From the textbook I gave you. Uh, holidays are almost getting over, no? They are over already? Yeah. School reopened? Uh, so it should have reopened almost two weeks back. What do you want to give so much? What do you want to give so much? Go to the house. 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 Go Huh? I think uh, tissues we are, I think, left with the last part of the chapter. We are left with the concept of complex uh, permanent tissues. I think we must have already finished with simple permanent tissues, right? Yes. We must have finished with simple permanent tissues, that is. We have finished with, we have finished with what? Uh, we have finished with parenchyma, polenchyma, and sclerenchyma, no? Okay. Uh, we are going to complete with the last part of the chapter, that is complex permanent issues, and then I'll give you certain questions to answer. By the time those of you haven't finished the homework, you're going to complete that also, and show me. I'm going to check all your work today, and if possible, I want to start the next chapter. Uh, if possible, we'll start a new chapter today. So first of all, let us complete with the last part of the chapter. What is the last part of the chapter? We are still talking about tissues. The last part of the chapter that we are going to talk about will be complex permanent tissues. Complex permanent tissues. Now, if we talk about complex permanent tissues, what would be the difference with simple permanent tissues? But what is the definition of simple permanent tissues? Uh, cells are of one type only. When we talk about simple permanent tissues, these are the tissues where the cells are of only one type. If you remember, what are the three types of simple permanent? Parenchyma, cells are all of the same type. Polenchyma, cells are all of the same type. Sclerenchyma, cells are all of the same type. No. What are the two locations of sclerenchyma? Two locations of sclerenchyma kya hai? Where do we find sclerenchyma? Veins of leaves. Veins of leaves ne, veins of leaves. Kya likha tum ne? Veins of leaves. And, huh? Veins of leaves. And what? Husk of coconut. And what? Seed coat. The bark of the trees. Bark of the trees. These are all examples of what? Sclerenchyma. Where do we find parenchyma? Where do we find parenchyma? In the leaves, in the fruit, in the uh, in the crops, in the stem, in the root. And they form the bulk. The, they form the bulk of the plant. Parenchyma. One specialized form. Okay, I think for parenchyma, did we talk about chlorenchyma? Did we talk about that? Chlorenchyma, did we study? No, acha. I think I must have missed that now that I discuss about. Now that I discuss about parenchyma, I remember, uh, take a note of this. Uh, there's a specialized form of parenchyma, and that is known as chlorenchyma. Chlorenchyma. What is chlorenchyma? It's a modified form of parenchyma. There are many other such modified forms. We are talking about only one as per your syllabus. Chlorenchyma. What is it? Where is it found? What is uh, its primary function? Chlorenchyma, which you have to understand, yes, they are majorly found in the leaves. The cells are uh, rich in, or the cells are, uh, or the cells are with large number of cells are with large numbers of chloroplasts. Cells are with large number of chloroplasts. 
So if the cells are with large number of chloroplasts, I already said that they are majorly present in the leaves. Chlorine, chyma, now that I talk about, they are majorly present in the leaves. And you are already aware that now moment I talk about the leaf cells, uh, they must be having large number of chloroplasts in them. Uh, then what should be their prominent function? Primary function should be what? Photosynthesis. Their primary function would be photosynthesis. So photosynthesis remains their primary function. So here, when we are talking about chlorine chyma, they are present in the cells of the leaves and they are rich with chloroplasts, a particular cell organelle. And this cell organelle, if they are present in large number, then they also will be able to undergo process of photosynthesis. So that's modified common chyma that we are talking about, chlorine chyma. Complex permanent tissues, what are the types? We are going to talk about complex permanent tissues. First of all, what is the major difference between complex permanent and simple permanent? Complex permanent tissues feel the of two or many types of, or two or more types of cells made up of two or more types of cells. Two or more types of cells, made up of two or more types of cells. So that is a major difference between simple and complex permanent. Again, if I revise, I said, if it is the types of tissues like the parenchyma, polyenchyma, sclerenchyma, they always have only one type of cells, wherever they are present. But now that I'm talking about complex permanent, they always should be having two or more types of cells. Now, which of the types? I'm talking about the first type of tissues, viral. I'm talking about first types of tissues, xylem. What are the types of cells that the xylem has? The type of cells that they have, the xylem, first of all, to understand, the type of cells that they have are tracheids. The types of cells that they have are tracheids. What is? Vessels. Vessels are also tracheids, or they're also known as trachea. Can I talk about the xylem parenchyma? I talk about xylem parenchyma and then we talk about the xylem fibers now see here we are talking about four types of cells but more or less they are concerned with the same function what is the function that they are mostly concerned with conduction of water or the transfer conduction of water and minerals conduction of the water and minerals from the soil to the upper part of the plants in one direction upward direction, unidirectional movement it is. So are we not talking about a type of tissue where they are structurally not the same? If you remember the definition that we had started, that, that we had uh, studied at the introduction of this chapter, what was the definition of the word tissues? Group of cells, similar or dissimilar in structure. Yes, so far, till parenchyma, colenchyma, sclerenchyma, and all of the muscular tissues and all these we are always talking about a particular tissue with only one type of structural cells. These are exceptions. So if you are talking about that, huh, this, is a part, this is a particular tissue, but then the types of cells are four types. Structurally, they are not the same. Structurally, they are different, but function is the same. All of them are arranged in the central region of the stem and the root, and bit away in the leaf. When I talk about the arrangement of the xylem cells, cut the root and the stem and the leaf in a section to find out. Uh, whenever I talk about the section of the root, yes, this entire tubular arrangement of cells, they are more or less placed in the center. What about the stem? Yes, in the stem also you find more or less these type of tissues in the center. What about the leaf? In the leaf, they are a bit away from the center, but more or less, whether I talk about the root stem or leaf, they are all resulting in the formation of a tubular arrangement, right, start from the soil, the upper part of the plant, and the conduction of the water and minerals is their primary function. Complex permanent tissues, xylem, now that we talk about, remember the cell types, trachees, vessels, parenchyma, and the fibers. Four types of cells. What about the other type? I talk about flowing. Flowing. Another type of compound permanent tissue. Uh, what are the cell types? The cell types would be now companion cells. The cell types would be companion cells. Next is the sieve plates or the sieve tubes. Let us write the majorly. Sieve tubes. And then we talk about the phloem parenchyma. Phloem parenchyma. 
and chlorine fibers and chlorine fibers chlorine chlorine parenchyma chlorine fibers now what are these group of cells ultimately concerned with they are concerned with the conduction of the soluble food transfer of the soluble food conduction of soluble food <coughs> now soluble food from where to where no from the leaves to all parts of the plant it is leaf is the site where the process of photosynthesis will happen and if i talk for any particular leaf from the leaf the food will move in all directions it may be downward sideways up way upwards in all directions but if i have to talk about the movement of the water we look by the way of the diagram it has to be only upwards movement of food by the fluid is in all directions is in all directions So, what are the type of cells we are talking about? Companion cells, sieve tubes, chlorine parenchyma, chlorine fibers. Four types of cells. These xylem cells, the xylem tissues in a young plant, or these xylem tissues, whenever they are young, they ultimately result in the process of conduction of the food and the, uh, I'm sorry, conduction of the water and the minerals. But the same group of cells become, after a particular period of time, as and when the plant is maturing. these group of cells after a particular number of years they become uh, dead fully dead otherwise the permanent tissues always you know that these are actually dead cells with certain degree of repair they actually don't divide then how are the permanent tissues formed how are the permanent tissues coming into existence how do they come into existence they are always formed from the meristematic cells that's what i explained it meristematic cell one can divide from the other permanent no they cannot divide but again we know in a plant almost about 70 70 to 75% of the tissues are all permanent 70 to 75% of the tissues i talk about the fruit permanent i talk about the root permanent i talk about the entire you know stem permanent i talk about the ribs of the vein uh, the, the leaf permanent So if that is so, and you are saying that the permanent tissues don't divide and grow, then how is it possible? No, it is possible because last class, if you remember, I explained your concept known as differentiation. Jaha pe, the meristematic cells only after a particular period of time they don't divide, they stop division and get converted into permanent. That is how the permanent tissues come into existence in a plant. They themselves cannot divide to form the same type like the meristematic. So. When I talk about these two permanent tissues that we are studying now, always remember they cannot show the process of repair, growth, division. I am sorry, they cannot show the process of growth and division. But repair, for us, on that basis, we can also differentiate some of these cells as living and dead. On that basis, we can consider some of these cells as living, some of these cells as dead. मतलब Some of these cells can show the process of repair for us if there is any damage. Are there some issues? Now we have to understand something more here. When we talk about the xylem of a plant, which becomes mature and it has stopped performing any function, meaning it is all dead cells now. Then what happens to that xylem? In a plant which is quite uh, almost about four or five year old plant, what happens to that xylem? That xylem forms the woody part of the plant, and then the new xylem tissues will start developing. So when we are talking about the xylem, we understand that in tall big trees with a big bark and a trunk, what will happen? The xylem tissues, which are there, they will start moving away from the central region and they start forming the woody part of the plant. And then in the central region, another group of cells start forming and engage themselves in the formation of the Conducting tissues, which are also known as the vascular bundles. So, what is the common name given to these type of tissues? These are also called vascular tissues or vascular bundles. And just now I said the older xylem. What does the older xylem give rise to? They form the woody part of the plant. They form the woody part of the plant. Older xylem always give rise to the woody part of the plant. Understood. So this is about the types of tissues that we have to study so far. The complex permanent tissues are concerned. Complex permanent tissues and their types. Take some questions now that you all have answered. 
you will try answering these questions. Apart from the text questions which already I have given as homework, I'll give you 10 questions to answer now. But after 10 minutes, when you will complete this job, if there's any doubt, you will try to clarify. Okay, now fast, fast, fast. Two minutes more, I'll give you to solve the questions fast. Number three, number three, number three, a specialized form of, a specialized form of, a specialized form of columna, C-O-L-U-M-N-A-R. Specialized form of columna epithelium. Specialized form of columnar epithelium 
which secrete chemicals which secrete chemicals are known as are known as dash epithelium are known as chemicals which secrete chemicals are known as dash epithelium dash epithelium next 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 dash dash are made up of dash are made up of one minute are made up of flat cells are made up of flat flat cells are made up of flat cells found found in the lining of the mouth found in the lining of the mouth found in the lining of the mouth which which protects from mechanical injury which protects from mechanical injury which protects from mechanical injury next phloem parenchyma phloem parenchyma phloem parenchyma are also associated with are also associated with storage of gas storage of gas and gas two gas will be there storage of gas and gas five six i gave you how many i gave you one one Right. Come to the next group of questions. Question number two. Question number two. Answer in one word. Okay. Name the following sort of questions. Number one. Answer in one word. Answer in one word. Write on the first one. Write on the first one. Which type of compound tissues which type of compound permanent tissues which type of compound permanent tissues form which type of compound permanent tissues form which type of compound permanent tissues form the which type of compound permanent tissues form the wood of the plant form the wood of the plant next 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 number 2 the type of the type of living elements the type of living element of xylem living element of xylem here i was explaining you that when we talk about the four cells there may be a slight difference between the types of cell where i said some of them may have a capacity of repair little bit on the basis of that whether they are able to repair or whether they are able to show the process of repair or not they can be considered as dead or living remember now this is very important for you to understand when i talk about the xylem this type of xylem is the only living component of the xylem that means what all these are the dead elements means what 
they basically may not have the capacity of repair and parenchyma is only one element which has the capacity of repair but not rapid division remember if it is a permanent tissue they will never have the capacity of rapid division even though we are saying that they are living okay okay so that is what i am asking you you should know this very nicely uh, rajan this uh, name the living element of parenchyma next name the living element of parenchyma next Ah, the name the living element of zygote. Number three. Number three. The living element of zygote. Next is. Name the dead elements of phloem. Name the dead elements of phloem. Dead elements. E L E M E N T S. Name the dead elements. I'll tell you. Write down the question first. Name the dead elements of phloem. Name the dead elements of phloem. Next. Next. A fluid. Connective tissue, a fluid connective tissue, a fluid connective tissue consisting of variety of cells, consisting of variety of cells, consisting of variety of cells. Consisting of variety of cells. Next, the branch processes, branch processes of the nerve cells that receive information. Branch processes of the nerve cells that receive information. Next, next, type of muscle that is striated, type of muscle that is striated, in Structure, structure, and voluntary in nature. Voluntary in nature. Voluntary in nature. Five done. Five over. Yes, I give you six. Okay. This you will do. Try to do without seeing the book, except for the xylem and the phloem, and then you answer. Ah, now question number three. I'll give you three differences to write down. One one point of difference. Write number three. The sub number one. Sub number one. Differences between. You have to write down the differences. Number three. Sub number one will be. Differences between sub number one and right. Question differences between. Sub number one, you go. Polenchyma and florenchyma. Polenchyma and florenchyma. Polenchyma spelling kya hai? C O double L E N. Polenchyma. And florenchyma spelling kya hai? C H L O R E N. Florenchyma, polenchyma bracket mein condition dikho. Location. Location only based on location you will write. Number two. Number two. Number two. Bone and cartilage. Bone and cartilage. Within bracket you will write. Condition you write. Bone and cartilage within bracket. Within bracket, 
nerve and blood supply. Nerve and blood supply. Number three, the last one. Number three. Number three. Stratify. 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 That's T R A T I F I E B. Stratify and stratify and ciliated epithelium. Stratified and ciliated epithelium. Is in bracket special feature. It's not so completely different. Special epithelium is completely Special feature. Okay. Now, these three questions that I'm giving you as differences are difficult questions that you get in your exam. I'm giving you these three questions just to get a fair idea. So, first of all, we'll do these three questions and then the rest, true, false, and fill in the blanks. I'll give you just uh, some five minutes, seven minutes time to complete on your own. Let's see how much you're able to do. Fairly, let us write on the differences. Make columns, cut up, cut up, and Columns, what is the first I gave you? Eight eight difference likna hai only on the condition I gave you. Eight eight difference likna hai only on the condition that I gave If I'm going to ask you fast, 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 only one difference to write. Wrote the first one you wrote. What is the first question I gave you? Your exam and your exam on the location. Can it now? Your time on the last of the video. Your time on where is it present in the? Chlorine time on where is it present? Leaves. You got chloroplast of the leaves, that's different. Chlorenchyma is a tissue which forms the leaf. A special feature of that leaves are, a special feature of those cells are chloroplast is present in large number. That is chlorenchyma. Chlorenchyma, where are they present? When did you study chlorine? Chlorine can be the present location. Found in the stalk of the leaves. I talk about this is my plant, and this is the leaf, and this is the flower. Chlorine chyma is here at the base of the flower stalk or at the base of the petiole. Ya to agar ye branch hai at the base of the branch and the stem. Because we have already learned, cholenchyma gives flexibility to the plant parts. Cholenchyma, where are they present? At the base of the flower stalk, petiole, etc. Chlorenchyma, chlorenchyma present in the leaf cells or forms the leaf cells. If you talk about the section of the leaf, you will come across the majority of the tissue is all chlorenchyma. Green. Next, next is very simple. You all should be able to write. Wow, what is it? 
बोनल कार्टिलेज नर्वन ब्लड सप्लाई पे ही लिखना है वेरी सिंपल पटोराइट शेयर बोनल कार्टिलेज बोनल कार्टिलेज नो आइडिया दे नेक्स्ट शिका नो बच्चे ने आशिका बोलो bones possesses nerve and blood supply and or other way you write bone possesses nerve fibers and blood vessels and cartilage do not possess nerve fibers and blood vessels cartilage do not possess nerve cartilage mein kabhi bhi blood supply nerve supply nahi rehta hai cartilage do not possess nerve fibers and blood vessels bone possesses nerve supply nerve fibers and blood vessels next what is the third one i gave you ha ah, stratified and ciliated epithelium ka sabse important special feature kya sikha hai what is one special feature of the stratified tissues प्रॉपर्टीज ओनली उसमें से सबसे स्पेशलाइज फीचर क्या है कॉमन फीचर तो ये था कि कॉमन फीचर स्पेशल फीचर एक एक ही सीखा था कौन सा था वन स्पेशल फीचर ओनली आई गेव यू ओनली वन स्पेशल फीचर आई एक्सप्लेन यू दैट डे स्ट्रेटिफाइड है तो दे विल बी द सेल्स विल बी no if it is stratified the cells will be multi layer multi layer cells if it is stratified they are flat cells but multi layer cells and if it is ciliated what will be the special feature may ciliated agar hai pillar like to columnar sub columnar will be pillar like ciliated agar hai to they will have fine hair like structures known as cilia special feature stratified mein likhna hai the cells are arranged in many layers Not only single layer like the cuboidal or the ciliated cells are arranged in many layers. Cells are arranged in many layers. And if it is ciliated, you are supposed to write they possesses fine hair-like structures. For ciliated, possesses fine hair-like structures known as cilia. so this type of questions you will always get in your paper remember i just gave you a concept how to answer this type of questions so when you read not to memorize blindly and blankly read to understand and know the points nicely chalo abhi 5 minute wo objective questions complete karo acha what i said if i have to talk about xylem already i told you that this is the living and these are all the dead elements and if i have to talk about phloem this is the dead parenchyma is the dead and these are all the living elements understood xylem this is the living these are dead phloem this is the dead these are the start discussing after 2 3 minutes first you try
Okay, let us start discussing. I hope some of you must have answered something. So this happened here. Okay. The first thing answered in the two, two, two questions at the time we answer. What is the first two? The cat should be small fatty but the skin can be good fat. Epithelial. Huh? Epithelial. Once I feel it, you have a problem that is stored fat. Ah, they know that. Hold on. Adipose. And what is the second? So I'm asking you already. Adipose. The second one is what is the second I gave you? Ha. Osteoblasts, yeah, the osteocytes be correct. I think in your book they have given osteoblasts, no? Osteoblasts, osteocytes are living bone cells. Next. Next two. Specialized form of polymer epithelium, which secretes chemicals are known as dash of next one after. Epithelial tissues which has the capacity of secreting chemical. What's the type of epithelial? What's the name of the epithelial tissues? What are the six types of epithelial tissues I have studied? Stratified, squamous, columnar, keyboard, striated, glandular. So, what's the name of the epithelial tissues? Glandular. Glandular. So, in the exam, you will tell the teacher. नहीं मेरे को जी से समझ लेता कि आप और कैसे जाता था बस ऐसे कैसे तो याद रखना है ना नाम हाँ हाँ बिल्कुल नहीं बने तो दो आंसर करना कुलो नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट वन इस डैश ऑफ मेड अप ऑफ प्लांट सेल्स फ्रॉम द स्पाइन ऑफ द माउथ व्हिच व्हिच प्रोटेक्ट्स द मैकेनिकल इंजरी व्हिच प्रोटेक्ट्स द मैकेनिकल इंजरी The spinous are satisfied, lining of the mouth, skin, skin, cornea satisfied. Scabbles are also present in the lining of the mouth. Scabbles are present in the lining of the mouth. Scabbles are present in the lining of the mouth. Scabbles are present in the lining of the mouth. Scabbles are present in the lining of the mouth. Scabbles are present in the lining of the mouth. Scabbles are present in the lining of the mouth. Storage of the chloem parenchyma or xylem parenchyma I gave you. Chloem parenchyma is also associated with the storage of starch and fat. Starch and fat. Chloem, because it is chloem which is helping in the transport of food. So excess amount can also be stored. Starch and fat. Next. Next. Your name is? Ashita. 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 What do you want? Which type of compound are there in the tissues from the root of the heart? From the root of the heart. Correct. Next. The type of living element of silent time. Silent time. Next. Living element of phloem. 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 Dead element of phloem I give you. Dead element. I say for the xylem, this, this, these are dead. This is living. And for phloem, this, this, this are living. And this is dead. This is it. Fibers. Dead. That is the dead element. For flow and more on living. Asha, come to the next question. Come to the next. Come to the next. Or Bhakti has the comment. Then done. Are you looking at the same thing? Why I gave you variety of cells because 
fluid connective tissue how many types are there in our body how many types of fluid connective tissues are there in our body two so uh, does the lymph have variety of cells no so the moment you understand variety of cells means of rbc wbc then the whole blood will be hoga come to the next then drives then drives that's it last stage hai na ye vedant answer karega main to wohi question ko panch baar likhega bolo hypermuscle muscle that is created and structural and voluntary type of muscle jo structurally striated hai एंड फंक्शनली वॉलेंटरी है बहुत ही सिंपल है ये क्या है अरे तुम्हारा दूसरा दोस्त कहा गया वो कहा गया हाँ अरे वो डर गया मुझसे वेदांत अब वेदांत को डराना पड़ेगा बिल्कुल भी पढ़ाई नहीं करते हो तुम हाँ ये तो बहुत ही सिंपल है ना ये दिस क्वेश्चन स्केलेटल टिश्यू स्केलेटल मसल्स या तो स्ट्राइटेड मसल्स थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ मस्कुलर टिश्यूज या सॉरी स्मूथ है तो विल डज द स्मूथ हैव स्ट्राइट एंड स्नो सो यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट रूल डाउ डज और इज द आई सेड स्ट्राइटेड भी है और वॉलेंट्री भी है तो तो वॉलेंट्री द मोमेंट यू अंडरस्टैंड वॉलेंट्री कार्डियो और स्मूथ तो ऐसे ही रूल आउट हो जाता है तो कौन सा बचता है स्ट्राइटेड इज देयर सो अंडरस्टैंड अंटिल यू अंडरस्टैंड द कांसेप्ट जरूरी नहीं है कि बिफोर द एग्जाम यू रीड एवरी कॉर्नर ऑफ द टेक्स्ट बुक पॉसिबल नहीं होगा स्पेशली अंडरस्टैंड 9th एंड 10th स्टैंडर्ड आईसीएसई लॉट्स ऑफ थिंग्स टू स्टडी जब भी तुम पढ़ो अंडरस्टैंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड रीड and uh, the method which you used to practice in the fifth sixth seventh abhi nahi chalega that method please some of you try to follow that method and that's the reason you are not able to go back now the next chapter this particular chapter i have just given you a basic uh, what should i say just a summary of few questions there are plenty of questions that may come in your exam variety of questions we can set from this exam from this chapter for an exam so many varied questions are possible so you read this chapter part by part jaise ki we if you want to read tissues you read maybe only the meristematic tissues pehle dekho you should be full thorough with meristematic tissues another day when you are studying biology you study permanent tissues only pura chapter ek baar mein khatam nahi karo that that way you are not learning you are just finishing the chapter you learn it properly learning does not mean looking at the walls and memorizing now any more you are learning trying to remember the points every sentence of the text as you read remember the points i gave you quite a number of tables i gave you tally karo and read okay especially for this chapter location kya hai function kya hai property kya hai different everything समझ में आना चाहिए अदरवाइज यू नॉट बी एबल टू आंसर क्वेश्चंस सो द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर दैट आई वांट टू स्टार्ट नाउ वी हैव अ वेरी स्मॉल चैप्टर लेट अस टेक अ ब्रेक बिकॉज़ दिस इज अगेन अ वेरी लॉन्ग चैप्टर सो वी टेक अ वेरी सिंपल चैप्टर हां वी टेक अ वेरी सिंपल चैप्टर इन इन योर स्कूल दिस इज स्टार्ट इन इन ऑफ आफ्टर दिस व्हिच चैप्टर आई वाज आई वाज आई वाज आई जी मैम तो हमारा फोकस था हमें तो उसने ही है ना फर्स्टा Then in that case there is no point going. That's why I asked you what is the chapter going on. Uh, so if hygiene is because hygiene is a very simple chapter, we will just discuss out certain things. In that chapter, hardly there is anything that I can give you as uh, no uh, elaborate uh, written work. Hardly there. Okay, okay. Let us discuss that chapter. Hygiene. 
certain important things only to understand and confusion query from your part one of you have to give the text because take down one of the points man maybe no mujhe waise bhi thodi pata hai na hygiene mein kya hai let's check ab hame to last ke baad ja ke sahi text kar liye last ke ha because this is a very easy chapter why did they take up these chapters now they could have taken it in the last few months acha now what i am saying did they do the entire chapter entire chapter kiya hai because quite a number of times we don't do this part control of mosquito we don't do this okay then yeah did man they cut this part or did they do everything they did everything acha acha so now we will just discuss this chapter part wise anything that is not clear you will raise your question so we can complete with this Hygiene that we talk about. The first part of the chapter. I'll just go by the textbook. Hygiene that we talk about. The first is uh, personal hygiene. We are talking about personal hygiene. Uh, what is the meaning of that? Personal hygiene when we talk about now. Personal hygiene is something that already you are practicing every day. Personal hygiene is something that we practice every day. You no, know, we have been doing this for years. Why should we do that? Brushing our teeth, taking bath, wearing uh, washed clothes, etc., etc., which right from the kindergarten days you have been doing. Now, why do you do that? What will happen if you don't take bath for almost two weeks? Huh? Pani bachega kya? No. Rashes on the skin. In one word, will start having microbial infections. So many different type of microbial infections we may have. See, in spite of wearing washed clothes, taking baths twice, twice a day, then also we have no sometimes. Certain minor infections, then also we have. So, if at all we stop developing these habits, we stop practicing this, then we understand what may happen. So, here we are talking about uh, hygiene. Now, first of all, when we are talking about personal hygiene and social hygiene, two concepts to study first of all. Personal personal hygiene and social hygiene. What is the difference? Personal hygiene we would mean when we are talking about taking proper care of ourselves. Social hygiene means taking care of the surrounding. Okay, before I enter into the book, personal hygiene just now we were discussing, no, brushing our teeth, and taking baths, and then wearing neat clothes, washed clothes every day, etc., etc. And uh, then what would uh, social hygiene mean? I'm not spitting. Okay, very good. Not spitting. And then what? Social hygiene. By not throwing garbage on the roads. Ah, by not throwing garbage on the roads. Ah, uh, sweeping the surroundings. Surrounding clean thing. Ah, uh, I have to keep my house very clean. So what I do is I collect all the garbage and the waste from my house, and I make my house very clean. Not even a single fly is there in my house. But I put all the garbage near my neighbor's house. Is that okay? No. Yes. Someone did not just open the other neighbor's house and just put it inside that house. So now, when we are talking about, it does not mean that we have to clean ourselves only and keep our homes only clean. We also have to keep our surroundings clean. What will happen if you are not responsible? If you don't take that responsibility to keep our surroundings clean? Now, say suppose now monsoon is approaching, and quite often we get to see that water accumulating near our building and all. Should be stop and should be take an effort to throw that water or at least empty that uh, uh, that uh, stagnant water. Should be take a responsibility or not? Many. ये सब काम कौन करता है? हाँ. ये सब काम करेगा तो प्रेसिज खत्म होगा, है ना? And then never mind mosquitoes को काटने दो, जंगी होने दो, उसमें कोई problem नहीं है, है ना? So whenever we come across garbage, whenever we come across garbage. In our surrounding, 
Okay, so far we can. I'm not telling you that go immediately uh, go uh, take a broom and start uh, you no know, cleaning. Not that. But uh, yes, as much as possible, we can try measures to clean that. Uh, we see some stagnation of water near our houses, near our buildings, near our societies. There are many, many people who would be passing every day but will not take a small effort to empty that water only little bit, which would wearing a gloves, you can just empty that water, hardly a small effort. But that much also people could not try to do. But yes, when it comes to giving a long speech, they would be very much interested. So we all should be taking that much little, little effort, how we can keep our surroundings also clean. Why should we do that? Keep ourselves free from diseases. If that stagnation of water is there near our buildings, near our societies, the fly and the mosquitoes which are breeding there, they are going to come to our house also. And they are going to infect our food and they are going to bite us. And we also may fall prey to such type of diseases. No? So that is about, I just finished with this. Hands and skin, when we talk about cleaning of hands, now with reference to cleanliness, personal hygiene, with reference to cleanliness, hands and skin, we already know that washing hands, keeping ourselves clean by taking bath. Next is we talk about wearing uh, washed and uh, clean underclothes and handkerchiefs to be used. Hair and teeth, hair should be washed. When we take bath every day, we should try to uh, I mean, make an effort. If you have long hair, of course, quite a number of times, you know, uh, maybe every day we may not be uh, washing our hair. But yes, alternately, alternately, at this negative point that we wash our Why should we do that? Because otherwise we may have, it is not that other, uh, anybody else is going to suffer. It's we people who will be suffering. There may be certain other different type of infection on the skull. And we may infect other different family members also. Hair, teeth, and breathe by nose. Why should we breathe by nose? Because in the inner lining of our nose, we have got the ciliated epithelium, which can trap dust particles, microbes. So quite a number of times we get to see small children and that, that's the time when we should teach them that we should not open our mouth to take in adequate air, but we should take in adequate air by the way of our nose. Because in our inner lining of the mouth, we don't have cilia to protect the inner parts of the body. And if you are taking air by the way of our mouth, all the particulate matter will enter and block our passages. We'll continue again with this chapter in the next class.
हमारे गरीब कौन से अच्छी है
Next round. Second round. Second round. Five point two. Five point two. Five point two.
Over. Now, I'm the second that we have. अभी तुम लोग करोगे थर्ड से लेके सेवेन तक क्लास ऑफ थर्ड टू सेवेन Shh. 
आगे तुम लोग सॉल्व करो और एक सेवेंटी बोला था ना यस समझिए
ना सोलो तो मिलेगी ना थर्टीन पर तो है ना 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 � आप उसे बुरा नहीं है क्या? आप बुरा नहीं हैं? एक्सेलेंट। वही तो समझा तुम्हें क्या? वो अच्छा रहेगा तीस माइनस वन। इसका सर? इसका अंतिम तो फिफ्टी है। हाँ वही बात सर। तो इन दोनों का अंतिम भी क्या होगा? ये तो मैंने आंसर नहीं 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 आंसर 
ठीक है ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर बस कुछ भी कैंसिल नहीं होगा ये आंसर है इसका मैंने रिग्रूप कर दिया देखो ठीक है कॉमन समझ में आ गया अभी पहले खाली ग्रुपिंग किया ताकि मैं फॉर्मूला बना सकू स्क्वायर या एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस टू एक्स वाई प्लस वाई स्क्वायर एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस टू एक्स वाई प्लस वाई स्क्वायर This will become x minus y the whole square. This will become x plus y the whole square. Okay. Sir, if sir, if the match is there, in that case, if the cloud is there, then you can do it. No, no, you can do it. Oh. Extra practice session. What will happen? You have to shield the edge and solve the problem. आपको जो डाउट है वो पूछ सकते हैं नहीं दिया वर्क करने के लिए देखो ये बिल्कुल